And now I'm pleased to present our state senator <clears throat> and our friend of this club, who's a lead sponsor of this event today. Thank you. And we're thrilled to have you here. Thank Adriano you. Adriano Espaillat. Let's yeah. give him a big round. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I am nursing my voice a little bit, so excuse me, because uh, I have to be, my voice has to be in good shape. I'm a tenor, you know. I'm a lyric tenor. Now that's my brother. But anyway, I just came from the, uh, the Uptown Games, where there, some of you were there, where there were over 300 kids competing right across the street in the armory to combat obesity. 19 of the public schools in the neighborhood were involved in that game, and we hope to do it every year. But the important thing is that on Mondays and Wednesdays, they have access to the armory, and they can go there and exercise and have their own track team. And it was a wonderful event, and we should combat the number one killer, the number one epidemic among young people is obesity. Obesity triggers childhood diabetes, asthma, and a bunch of other diseases that are terrible, not only physically for the young people, but it hurts their attendance in school, it hurts their academic performance, they have to be absent on a regular basis because they're sick. So this was a great event, and those of you that were there, I want to thank you for being there. I want to thank Mark Levine and Marisol Alcantara and my county leader, Keith Wright, yeah. because he is uh, clearly establishing uh, a culture, if you may, uh, an attitude for this uh, election season that is based on fairness and respect. Congressman Rangel has been uh, someone that has uh, for many, many years served this community. I am deeply uh, happy to have been associated with him. But today, I announced my candidacy for candidate in the 13th Congressional District. Uh, and I did so. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but I, and I did so counting on the support of District Leader Mark Levine and Marisol Alcantara. And this club, the word change is embedded, is deeply rooted in the fabric of this club, the Barack Obama Democratic Club because it came out of a movement, a national movement, an international movement, if I may, of a great leader that said things must change, things must be done differently. And I want you to be part of this journey as we move forward to make history and bring about change. And I want to end this by saying a word that was said by President Kennedy, a great president. I remember I, remember I was in the Dominican Republic when President Kennedy was killed. I was a little boy. And I remember my sister crying in the Dominican Republic when the word came out that President Kennedy was killed. And when I came here several years later, we all knew of his legacy. And he said something very special when he got sworn in. He says, the torch must be passed to a new generation of Americans. And I deeply believe in that. And I think that we can do that in a respectful manner where well, we could all be part of making history and making change. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.